You ever just wake up in the morning, open up VS Code, and think to yourself, wow, I wonder what other coders are doing around the world. What are they coding on? Yeah, me neither. I don't even think about that for like a millisecond. But I made it anyway. Introducing VS Code Stories. That's right. You're not dreaming. This is not Photoshop. This is VS Code Stories. This is a real extension. You go to Stories in the store, Look at that, there's me. And this is me again. And if I click on me, what's that? That is a story. And if I, you know, watch my story and I'm like, wow, that's amazing. I'm gonna give it a heart. Let's give it, oh my gosh. Did I not start my server? Oh, that's awkward, it's rate limiting me. Okay, let's try that again. I click on my story and I'm like, wow, what an amazing story I'm witnessing and I can even like it, that's how much I'm enjoying it. And bam, the like shows out. She can't even freaking speak now. And then I can go click on another story. Let's go check out Amber's story. Wow, this is really nice. But you know what? This is not nice enough for me to give it a heart. It's a light theme. I'm just gonna exit out and be done. And I can close up stories and I'm done for the day. I watch my stories and I'm feeling great. I connected with the developer community. But no, that's not all. If you download this extension right now, not only can you view stories, but you can upload your own. If I go down here to the bottom right corner, I can see record story. I'm gonna press this guy, wait three seconds, and then you know what, maybe I'll just like scroll down, show off my code. Check this out guys, this is a beautiful function right here. Yeah, this is lovely code. Whoever wrote this did a fantastic job. And then when I'm done, I can hit that button, stop it. You can record up to 30 seconds. It's generating my story right now. Let's give that a second. Okay, it's up, awesome. I can see my story right here, preview it. And then I can be like, yeah, that was crap. Discard it, or I can be like, mm, let's go ahead and publish this. Let's show this to the world. I'm gonna push publish here. I'm gonna let it load. I think I might have got a cold start. And voila. My story is uploaded for the world to see. You can see it right here playing. I also see my story pop over here. And now everyone else with the extension can go and see my story. They can click on it, be like, wow, that's amazing. Let's give him a, not a star, a heart, there we go. And there you go, that is VS Code Stories. Also, I forgot to mention, slash, it was just kind of hiding under a bunch of icons and I had to go uninstall some extensions, but there's a little S icon here. If I press on that, I can have a full panel to see all the stories that exist. And by the time you're watching this, there's probably gonna be a crap load of them. And so you have the option. You can either see a whole page here, or if you just wanna see it over here in your editor, you increase this or decrease this, you can do either of those. But Ben, what the heck is a story? It doesn't look like a video. Well, it does kind of look like a video, but it's not a video. It's a GIF. I didn't want it to be a GIF, but it had to be a GIF because VS Code doesn't like videos for some reason. You see this? This is me trying to render a video. You see that? That's a grayed out video player button. It didn't work. And this is me trying to embed a YouTube video. That also didn't work. They just don't allow video things at all, which is really sad. So I was like, wow, are we about to rage quit this project? Because I found out this like halfway through. And then I was like, hmm, what would Elon Musk do? He would probably take this to space and he would have stories so the astronauts can connect with each other. And if VS Code didn't allow it, he'd probably make his own VS Code. And if he was too lazy to make VS Code, he would probably settle for a GIF. And so we have GIFs. You're probably wondering how this all works and how GIFs are stored. So let's talk about the tech stack for a second. Let's create a story in fact. So I'm using the MS stack for this, also known as the Microsoft Simp stack. And this includes using TypeScript, a Microsoft owned language for both the extension and for the API. Then we are also using NPM packages from NPM, which is also a Microsoft owned company. And of course we are hosting our code on GitHub, a also Microsoft owned company. And then we are also hosting the application and storing GIFs on blob storage in Azure, which is also a Microsoft cloud. Now, this is not to be confused with the MSS stack, which is the Microsoft SuperSimp stack. Gosh dang it, I was in the middle, bro. Discard, get out of town. And uh, this uses MSQL, which, you know, I didn't want to be too clingy here. 
and think Microsoft think I'm a super simp. So I went with PostgreSQL for the DB. And then the last piece of this is how we record the videos. And that is with FMPEG. Well, they're not videos, they're GIFs. Well, they're videos and then gets converted to a GIF and then we upload to our lovely Microsoft owned cloud. Also, I created a new Azure account. So this currently has $200 on it and my credit card is on it, but it says it shouldn't charge it. So you guys can just go ham on the $200 and we'll see how well this scales. I am using serverless though for some parts of it. So I, I should be web scale. So you guys have fun, have at it. That is until the credit runs out or 30 days has passed and it expires. For those of you that made it this far, I got some super secret settings that you can customize your profile. So if you search for stories and VS Code settings, you can get a few of them that you can customize. The first one is a URL for your profile picture. I'm probably gonna restrict this to GitHub so there's no funny business, if you know what I mean. You can also set your flair for some extra flair and you can set your username. And by the way, there are no accounts. So you can change your username, your flair, your avatar, whenever you want, post whenever you want, but you're gonna get rate limited. Lastly, credit goes to this tweet for motivating me to actually make this. I kinda just made this on a whim for fun and we'll see how it goes. I don't know if people are actually gonna like this, but if they actually do, maybe I'll make a V2 and make it actually good with like GitHub authentication and friends and all that fun stuff. But I figured, you know what? Let's just do an MVP. And so this is my MVP. See if you guys enjoy it. And by the way, if you have any feature requests, just go code it. Code's open source. Have at it. I'll PR it. No, you'll PR it. And I will pull that in.